Hey friends, Ashley here with Coffee and Bible Time. And today I thought I'd bring you a different type of video, but I was researching the 10 reasons why people don't read their Bible because I want to debunk those lies and those myths about why people don't read their Bible and why they should be reading their Bible. Um, because let me tell you, the Bible has transformed my life. I would not be the person I am today without reading my Bible and fighting the lies that Satan threw at me about the Bible. So I got these um, things from a mixture of different websites on why people didn't read their Bibles and some I kind of thought of too. So here we go. So the first one is no time. I think that might be the biggest one I hear all the time. But let me tell you that you make time in your life for what's most important for you. And if you're not making time for the Bible, you're pretty much saying to God that his word is not important to you. And I'm just being very blunt. That is honestly very disrespectful to God because God literally wrote this entire love story for you. He wrote this to connect with you so that you would know literally anything about him and how good he is and his plan for your life and how he fearfully and wonderfully made you. Like the Bible is so rich of who God is. And when we say we don't have time for it, I think that that is very disrespectful to the God of the universe who wrote this beautiful thing for you and you're saying that you don't have time. My question for you is how much time do you spend on your phone? Probably a lot. I spend a lot of time on my phone too. And I would suggest that you would cut out five to 10 minutes of your phone time and use that time to grow in your relationship with God. You will never regret that. You will never regret setting that time aside for God. He will do marvelous things in your life if you do that. So the second reason why people don't read their Bible is because they don't know where to start. And the Bible is huge. It's daunting. It's scary. And especially if you've never re read it before. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you are scared to start because you don't know where, start in Mark. Mark is one of the Gospels in the New Testament. And it's all about Jesus' life. So grab that Bible off your bookshelf and just start reading in Mark. And start journaling your thoughts. And you will see how that just sparks something inside of you that's going to make you thirsty for God's word. So the third reason why people don't read their Bible is because it's too confusing. They're not smart enough. It's too hard to read. But I can totally understand that. There are multiple parts of the Bible that are very hard to understand. But there are so many amazing free resources out there that can help you. And the biggest resource that has ever helped me with reading my Bible is called The Bible Project. And The Bible Project literally takes you through every book in the Bible. It is the most helpful Bible tool I've ever used before. And there are so many devotions, devotionals, free devotionals, just so many things out there and free resources that you can use or grab a mentor and say, can we read through some of the Bible together? Someone from church older than you and bam, there you go. You're overcoming the fact that it's too confusing. Sometimes you just gotta open the Bible and say, you know what? I may be confused, but I'm gonna start and God, you gotta help me through this. So the fourth reason why people might not be reading their Bible is because it's too boring. And <laughs> whoever said the Bible is boring, I mean, the adventure stories in the Bible are insane. They are epic. Like, I don't even know if you say it's boring. I don't know if you've ever read the Bible before because literally it's crazy. Like the stories, Daniel in the lion's den, he was thrown into a lion's den, but the lions didn't eat him. And then the next person who got thrown in was demolished. That's not boring to me. The fact that God is so amazing and works miracles and Jesus came, God in human flesh. Okay, that is not boring. So the fifth reason why people don't read their Bible is because they forget or they're distracted. Um, relatable, I can relate to this. And um, it is easy to forget, 
But if you start making reading your Bible more of a habit and a daily thing, you'll be less likely to forget and you will grow into loving the Bible and then you won't want to go a day without reading it and you won't forget because you'll love it so much. Um, and if you're getting distracted, push through that distraction. The enemy wants to say to you, oh my gosh, don't read the Bible. He's getting your mind on other things. But if you push through that and say, not today, Satan, uh, you're going to be getting a lot of things out of the Bible that you never have before because you pushed through that initial, okay? My next reason why people don't read their Bible is because it's too old. It doesn't relate to life. And um, the Bible is very old. But I can tell you that when I read the Bible, I'm just like, are you? kidding me this is like the most relatable thing i've ever read in my life a lot of the stories in the bible are so relatable to me and to us and so read it and see if you can relate to it and i bet you will the next reason why people may not be reading their bible is because they have their phones or their computers to just google I'm feeling sad Bible verses for feeling sad and I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do but when you're only turning to the Bible for when you're sad or things are hard or this and that that isn't bad but if you're only like googling verses for certain situations in your life that is no relationship with God and when you have a relationship with God you're literally coming to him daily to spend time in his word and to soak up just as much as of his word as you can you're not just going to him in those times of need but all the time and he's daily renewing your mind daily refreshing your soul so um yeah don't just go to God in Google when you need something spend daily time with him the next reason why people don't read their Bible is failure and so people are scared that they're gonna fail or maybe you've tried reading the Bible before and you failed and and you're just scared because you're like I'm gonna read through the Bible in a year and then it doesn't end up happening well my encouragement for you guys is to keep going if I would have quit the first time I stopped like started my Bible and then stopped reading it, I would not have like gotten all this nourishment that my soul has needed. I would not have been able to read through the Bible. And I'm just so happy that although I did mess up multiple times and stop reading, a few days, a few weeks later, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get back into it. So never feel like you are so failing at reading the Bible that you're not going to keep reading the Bible. Don't let that lie get to your head. The next reason why people don't read their Bible is because it's uncomfortable. And um, yes, hashtag relatable to that one too. Because literally the Bible says that it is sharper than any double-edged sword. It pierces your soul, but in a good way that makes you see what the heck I am so such like I'm such a simple person I need God and I need to change my actions God help this pain I'm feeling from your Bible right now to make me into more like Jesus and into a better person so let that pain not be seen as a bad thing but as a good thing that is going to grow you more into a better person and my last reason why people don't read their Bible is because they have the wrong motives you need to ask yourself, why am I reading the Bible? And if your answer is, I'm only reading the Bible because I'm told to, rethink things. Realize that you should be getting so excited to read your Bible, not because you have to, but because literally God wrote this for you because he loves you so much. My very big encouragement to you guys is to pray that God would give you a passion for his word. Just pray it, pray it, pray it over and over again and say, tell God, God help me to love your word. Literally help me to come to it every day and to have my daily bread and to fill me with it more than I get filled with food, God. Just fill me with your word. Those are the top 10 reasons why people probably don't read their Bible. I hope this video helped you guys and I hope that you can start reading your Bible and to see how truly life-changing, renewing, soul-fulfilling God's word really is. I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.